Welcome everybody, it's Solomon. In this video, we are going to be doing a breakdown of the new Sabotage DLC 1 for Infinite Warfare. Of course, talking about Raven and Redwoods. And I say breakdown, but I'm going to try something different about this breakdown. So it's not going to be like my normal breakdowns or like any normal breakdowns. Instead, I'm just going to be pointing out for you guys all the important things inside here instead of going through every import, every little thing throughout the whole trailer. I feel this is going to be a better way, but go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this method of breaking down compared to the other one. And we'll keep to whichever one you guys prefer. But anyways, without for the delay let's actually get into this video so there's a couple things i want to actually talk about first i want to talk about what they actually said and just the idea of the map and everything and everything we could tell by a general sound points so first thing they actually told us that it's actually based in the 1990s so we're no longer in the 70s and it actually looks like a pretty eerie map and of course we're keeping the same characters which is pretty interesting because we're keeping the same characters except they're going to have their new personalities and everything because of the new movie they're in and it's supposed to be a new horror movie so this one actually looks it's quite dark and eerie so I can't wait to see what this is all about and as for the map itself it looks like we're going to be mainly in maybe these woods areas or rather inside the cabin areas we're just going to be in areas like that throughout the whole map there probably are some other areas that we haven't seen inside the trailer but that's just what we can tell so far so first I want to talk about all the new melee weapons we're getting so some of them are kind of not really new but they're a little special so I just want to go through these pretty quick so the first one we saw is actually a machete so this one's pretty interesting it looks nice and everything nothing real special I guess but his, dude, his fingernails look kind of weird so I'm not too sure if that's what happens when you get the machete or not I just decided to point that out too but next one we see is a double sided axe we did have axe before but now we have a double sided axe so that's cool then we have the golf club which is pretty interesting so I accidentally hit somebody with a golf club before that wasn't good but anyways next thing we actually see is a bat with nails so i'm not too sure did we have a bat before i i know in black ops 3 we had a bat but i don't think there's been a bat before inside infinite warfare so it looks like we're getting bat except it's going to have nails on it so that's pretty interesting so now that those are out of the way let's actually get to more important things so this third first thing i want to point out i was actually kind of questioning if i should put this in here or not but i decided to in the end so if you guys look through this window when he's actually walking through this cabin or whatever it's there's something pretty interesting about this window I'll zoom up for you guys for you guys can see it and it looks like this weird raven thing like with red eyes It kind of looks like a statue of a really big raven with red eyes Not too sure if that's actually something or not But I decided to point out and leave it in the video anyway So the next one is this KBR which is a sniper rifle from the game obviously and um, it looks like it's going to be free It looks kind of like extinction style if you guys can think back to extinction How you got the guns because they were just laying on the floor and then you would pay for them I don't think that's going to be the case. Maybe we can get that KBR for free I don't know. Hopefully it's called a KBR because if it's not then that's going to be embarrassing but anyways a couple other things we see we see this really big open area but the main thing to, that we could actually confirm from this is we see quickies at the bottom it's pretty cool stuff but and then the next part we actually see this guy running through the map or this one area of the map it looks pretty interesting this part of the map it looks like maybe a swamp area but anyways when he's running through it we actually see trailblazers so we got two perks and those are the only perks we see inside this that i have noticed but the next one is the map this is actually pretty interesting so i want to spend a little time on this one because the map is actually Actually pretty dark and everything and then all of a sudden when he activates this thing this weird music starts playing the map gets all colorful and it scares people away from actually wanting to play the game anymore but it's kind of weird why they do that I I don't know why if you're going for this eerie feel because I thought they were separating from this goofy zombies mode like they had inside zombies in space line but it looks like that's not the case and they're going to continue on that or maybe if they're just going to have this in maybe some areas in the map and something else I don't know maybe it's not going to be bad but it's kind of weird but mainly what's even more interesting about this that I don't think a lot of people have actually noticed but if you look at this look at the overlay what is on this we don't see our zombies characters faces we don't see perks we don't see points we don't see fate and fortune cards we see the multiplayer overlay. Then we have we have score streaks. We have a point scoring thing, whatever it's called. The map. We have these things, which is really really weird. And I have a couple ideas for this. So this could obviously just be how they were testing the map, and that was what they had to test it, just the multiplayer overlay. But what I think that may possibly be the case is that this could be for a new Michael Myers mode because we also see a slasher, which we're going to come to in just a second. But it may be a Michael Myers, a new Michael Myers mode like they had inside Call of Duty Ghosts. They could just take out apart from the zombies map and just place it inside the multiplayer just for a Michael Myers mode so that could be the thing it can it could just be them like I said just that's how they test the map and 
everything. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about it down in the comments. Anyways, the next one actually one point out for you guys. We actually see we see the actual spawn room, which is pretty interesting. We do know this is spawn room because we see our character actually pulling out his thing. The fight and fortune cards appear in front of him. The walkie talkie do, which is really interesting. That's what you do when you first spawn in. And so it's pretty obvious that this is actually the spawn room. It's going to be inside this cabin area. Not too sure how that's going to turn out. It looks pretty difficult for any first room challenge people who want to try any of those, especially in that small area. But we'll see how it turns out. Then the next thing we actually mentioned inside this is actually the slasher. They actually actually show us a video clip of the slasher, and he kind of looked weird. But there's a couple of ideas what what he could be. He could possibly be an enemy, and that's kind of what they they were playing him off to be. But he could be another Hasselhoff character inside this map. This map's Hasselhoff could be the case. Could be the case. Couldn't be the case because maybe if Hasselhoff did escape zombies in space time with our characters maybe his character would also change so that's just another thought that popped up in my head so maybe that is and they can also use this guy as michael myers too because he is dimly lit maybe he actually is michael myers so anyways it's just a couple ideas and the two things i want to just mention real, real fast so like i said there was a part from multiplayer overlay over it and we only saw the overlay that you see inside zombies once just when we were looking at the spawn room the rest of the time rather had no overlay or a multiplayer overlay i just want to point that out because it's pretty interesting i'm not too sure what that's about i'm not too sure if that really means anything but it is kind of strange but the last thing i want to point out and this is super super interesting at least for me is that when they were doing this whole trailer thing this whole zombie map trailer thing there was a lack of something in here and I find this very very interesting that we didn't see something pretty important to this zombies mode we were lacking actual zombies inside the trailer we didn't see a single zombie throughout this whole trailer which is really weird well it's not true at the start of the trailer there's some clips from zombies in space on but that's separate we haven't seen any zombies inside Raven the Redwood so I'm not too sure what that's all about I'm pretty sure they're going to keep zombies I can't imagine them not keeping zombies but it is strange that they didn't show any zombies I'm just going to say that I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing with it but we'll see what happens when we actually get the map but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and thumbs up and if you guys want to stay tuned for more videos just like this go ahead and subscribe but I'm gonna go and I will catch you guys on my next video